Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Gabe from Scratch, and today we have some news from the Unity front, specifically from the Unity blog of a new project they have just launched called Open Projects. Now, this isn't a new tool or platform or anything. I guess we could call this a new initiative. It's basically a game jam, a community game jam around the idea of a single game, with hopefully more games and genres coming online later. So what they're trying to do is lead an open source game development effort. So everyone that wants to can get involved, and you can learn how to work with a team. Uh, you can be an artist, contribute some of your work, to have it go towards your CV, etc. So if you've always wanted to be part of, I, I guess you want to be a smaller cog in a bigger machine, that's what Open Projects is all about. And truth of the matter is, this is going to be made or broken on how well Unity handle it. So what you have here is you always, on a team like this, on a project like this, you need a benevolent dictator. You need to have that person who does all of the commits, who says no to people, that keeps up quality control, all that stuff. And really, it's going to come down to them and how well they do in this. But it's Unity's creator and development advocacy team that are running this and you know what they can't meet face to face in uh you know a covid world so they're doing this as a collaborative effort one way to share in our project in our common experience is through game development itself we created the open projects to give you a taste of a realistic game project where you have the freedom to get your hands on um in your area of expertise, try out new skills or just sit back and learn. And ultra, also interestingly enough, you'll have the freedom to not have freedom anymore. And that is part of working on a team that a lot of people need to learn about. So Open Projects, we want to expose the game development um, journey as it unfolds, welcome you to the team as an active participant. As such, the Open Projects are open source and hosted on GitHub. We'll look at that in just a second, where you follow their development as it happens. Uh, take part by contributing code, graphics, audio, or any kind of assets. Uh, again, it is all up on GitHub. You're not on your own, our team at Unity will plan the uh, will build the plan, provide graphics and sound, drive the development forward, and tackle the hardest challenges. Uh, we'll be in this, in this together. A lot of collaboration will take place in the Unity forums. I have to ask, I have to question if forums are the right place. This would probably be better for something like a Discord, uh, but it'll be interesting to see how that works out. So they have a dedicated forum. We'll also see that in just a second. They also have a contribution guideline. We'll look at that as well. The first one they are going to do is an action adventure game. Uh, the title screen for this was some of the concept art, as you can see. Below low. Um, so if, if you like this this premise, this this is what they are working from. Um, another piece is project management. It's being managed with code deck, something that is new to me. We'll look at that in a second too. I may actually do a dedicated uh, video on it. And you should actually note, they're not trying to create a full game here, but a vertical slice. So it's kind of like a section of a game, like what you would pitch on a Kickstarter campaign. So they're not going to make a full flush game. You're basically creating a level and aspects of gameplay. But everything there should be, you know, expandable into a full game experience. Uh, when they're done, we will uh, create a launch trailer for the game and put the final results on Steam, crediting everyone that took place. So if you're looking for a portfolio piece for, as a student, or you're just looking to get started, uh, it's there. They're also going to do bi-weekly live streams on their Unity channel, basically of the development and project planning and so on. So once again, the code is up on GitHub. If you were interested in checking it out, it is here. Um, you can see that they've been planning this for a little while, uh, but it literally just happened yesterday. Uh, the code is under the Apache 2 license. The Apache 2 license is a pretty straightforward license. It um, basically can't sue them. Uh, and that kind of stuff, but you can do quite a bit with the code. So if you want to fork this code and make your own game with it, that is an option you have here. So the code is all handled on GitHub. All of the collaboration is going to be handled through GitHub. You do uh, pull requests and commits. They have a gatekeeper that decides if stuff makes it in or not. And again, that is 100% where things are going to be made or broken. Uh, and in terms of the game itself, well, right now, it, it's pretty sparse. So they've got a common thing here. Now, one of the funny things about this, and, and this is going to be a community nightmare, is that um, you're all built around, yeah, so we're not we're not overwhelming as of yet, but this is uh, the character controller from the downloadable things. We got, you know, basically set up for uh, the template that the game is going to be built in. It gives a common test bed for people to work in or to import their art in and so on. Obviously, you know, people are going to have to create better art than this little T-posed plastic man up here. Uh, but this is where we started. Now, when I brought this in, I have a newer version of the LTS version than this was made in. And you can't change the version. They're going to handle that. So what you're going to have is every single time uh, this is updated, you're going to have to update 
update the 2019 LTS version as well to match. You can't add any projects or anything to this. So let's actually get to that in just a second. So here we go. Uh, this is the forum where everything is going to be uh, done. They've done a dedicated open projects forum. I think they made a mistake here is that they should have done a dedicated open projects forum to describe the open projects concept and done a sub forum specifically for the platformer game so that when they do future ones, such as an, an RPG or a strategy game or whatever, it isn't all spread into a single forum. But hey, I guess I'm, I'm, uh, I'm predicting success on this one and their design isn't. Uh, but you can see breakdown of the various different discussions that are going on, and, you know, including things like community driven, coming up with the game title, uh, you know, handling controls and so on, all, all of the, the stuff here. And for a thing that has only been up for uh, 24 hours, you can actually see there is a decent amount of uh, people contributing here. So this thread right here for the title, for example, has 93 contributors already. Again, I, I wouldn't help but think that a Discord is a better way to discuss it than in a forum. Actually, we even have two days, uh, two pages worth of uh, contributions here. So this is where the centralized discussion all is. By the way, I will link all of this in the linked article down below. Uh, on top of that, we also have the contribution guides. Uh, this is basically, uh, you know, the, the rules on how to contribute, what you need to do, how things work, what you cannot and can do. So from a technical side of things, you can't add new packages, you can't update a package used by the project, or delete assets or scenes that are not strictly yours. So you can't take away other people's stuff, and you can't make fundamental changes to the project. So if there is a new package that is needed, it's basically community-driven. The person in charge uh, will handle it, so they can be broken for a reason, but they must be discussed in advance. Um, you can't add any profanity, obscene content, or text or graphics that can be offensive to others, and you can't contribute stuff that you don't legally own. Uh, so th there's the details in terms of how to contribute. It is entirely going to be using Git workflow. Uh, there is a video basically that shows you how to do Git uh, contributions and such. It, it's a good idea for people to learn how to use Git and work in a project. That's probably what some people will find most valuable here. Uh, in terms of the versioning, they are using Unity 2019.4 LTS with whatever the latest patch version is. Although ironically right now, they're not up to the most current patch. At least that's what my... Uh, my install set, or maybe I'm not up to. I think it said it isn't. Then anyways, that's what they're going to do. They're going to keep on the LTS version and you're going to have to match their patch level, which you know makes sense. You can't have everybody contributing and then sending it to a different patch level and breaking everyone's code and then vice versa. Uh, so the workflow roundabout, you, you do need how to use, know how to use GitHub. Uh, you fork the repository, uh, you make changes, you talk on the forum, you create your own local branch optionally, change things, open up a pull request to see if your stuff can go back in. And then ultimately after seven, the process eight is going to be the most important part because this is where the uh, project management team decide if your contribution gets put in or not. And that, again, it's going to suck. So some people don't want to hear, okay, your art just doesn't fit the style we're going for, or this code change doesn't make sense, or that design kind of sucks. Uh, but that's this is honestly... The handling of this 100% is going to dictate if something like Open Projects works or not. So uh, good luck to the team. Uh, that's a very important thing. And then finally, we have the uh, project uh, roadmap here. This is up on Codex. I actually think I'm going to check out Codex in its own video. This is actually pretty cool. So you see here, this is a project management tool for collaborative game development. We got simple uh, breakdowns, uh, some links and important things going on. Uh, we have discussion details in here. Uh, so uh, yeah, all of the design aspects of this, they're all here. So if you got a character, you want to go in and see some details about that character or some details about various different things going on, uh, you can see them in here. Uh, so yeah, this is the collaboration project. Again, I haven't actually uh, used Codex. Again, it's a project management tool specifically for game devs. I think I'm going to check this one out. It is free for small teams. Uh, it's an interesting project, and there's not a lot of stuff out there like that. Uh, again, hey, look, it integrates into Discord. So maybe, again, Unity, consider Discord over forums. I think that makes more sense personally. But here you go. Uh, this is Codex. Let me know if you're interested in learning more about Codex, if I should do a specific video on it. It's definitely an interesting project that I was actually relatively unaware of until I saw this, to be honest. But that is not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is, once again, this new open projects system by um, Unity. It's, it's kind of, I guess, systems the wrong word, initiative. They're going to try and do these collaborative community-developed games or vertical slices of games. I think it's a great idea, actually. I, I always kind of thought about doing something like this on Game From Scratch. The problem is, I I don't want to be that gatekeeper. I don't want to be the one telling people, yes, this works or no, this doesn't. Uh, but a community-led collaborative effort with the resources of Unity behind it, this is actually a good opportunity if you are a student developer uh, and you want to get your work out there. 
this this could be a good thing to contribute to. And if nothing else, it does teach you things that you don't get on your own. Things like how to work with a team, how to do a pull request, and so on. So um, open projects will be interesting to see how this goes. But let me know what you think of it in general. Uh, do check their trailer out and everything else. I will have all of the links to everything down below if you want to get involved. And I'd be really interested in hearing your opinion on this. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later.